everyone, it's Lima with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do some work on these envelope closures and I'm just making a whole bunch of them. Yesterday I was cleaning out my drawer and I saw um, a bunch of scrapbook papers that I like that I hadn't thrown away and I wanted to clear them out so I just punched a whole bunch of circles and I had some extra cardstock as well that I punched and those are the backs of these so I punched a whole bunch of circles and then I basically glued four pieces together so this is um, four pieces of cardstock and I wanted to continue working on them so I decided to turn on the camera and just work with you guys on these I'm also making this envelope tab, I guess, or like the, the where you hold it, the lever. <laughs> um, I'm also making these. So I had some other scrapbook papers that I've been cutting up. To me, the, especially this one is very retro feeling to me. And so I'm going to make a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to keep cutting these down to size and what I need to do next is corner punch them but I have no idea where my corner punch went because, which is weird because I just corner punched this stack right here. Alright, so let me finish cutting this and my paper cutter is like the most, seriously, the most dysfunctional paper cutter ever because it doesn't lift and it's really hard to work with. <laughs> All right, I need to corner punch this. And this is such, I need to buy a new corner puncher anyways because my, the plastic fell off of my corner puncher. Um, Alright, I guess I won't be able to do that today, but let's work on something else. I was hoping that I could glue today because it's kind of fun to see how they turn out, but I'll just go ahead and start punching the hole in the middle here. And I love doing this for these um, types of things. Like I, I would say that I don't really like to make ephemera ahead of time because I kind of want to do it as I work on the journal but for these types of things that I know is kind of like a generic thing that I'm going to use in a lot of journals that's what I really like to make ahead and I just love these papers And I especially like it because, well, I was, I, I'm going to film a video, a Mass Making Monday video for these envelopes. For these, let me see if I can grab one. For these envelopes that have a window in front of them. But then I wanted to have a bunch of these ready. So it was like the perfect time. 
I mean. You guys are going to see this a lot later, but I am filming this right as we enter into 2021. That one's pretty off center right there. So hopefully things are a little more normal in 2021 I, d I really don't expect it to be this drastic difference right off the bat because like we know it's 2021 but that's because it's a human the date is a human construct <laughs> with four pieces of cardstock. This is pretty, I mean, it's, it's pretty strong. And this crocodile is doing a really good job because I was trying to punch through with, um, with this hole puncher and it was, tough I've been watching a lot of videos about the Myers-Briggs personality types are you guys familiar with that? Um, it's just, it's just a test that you can take online for free and kind of for fun, pretty much, to see what your basic functions are as a person. And I'm just curious if any of you guys know what your type is I am an INFJ which basically means that I that I'm an introvert and my first function is actually I'm not even sure what my first function is I just know that I am better at sensing my intuition I guess well sensing is a bad word because that's one of the other functions that I that are my lower functions but even like doing this because the function that's last for me is extroverted sensing which is I guess like being more practical and I think that's why I like to do these types of things like make a whole bunch of something at once because I will have already figured out all the kinks and there's no problems that are going to arise like an example is if I would have gone ahead and just done these and then I have to stop and then make this like to me that's a little overwhelming so make doing it like this 
makes me feel more organized. Does anyone else feel like that? <laughs> And it makes me feel productive. And then when I do need it, it's there. But I, I think I don't like to make ephemera all at once. Or before I do the journal, I like to make it specific to that journal. Because of the creative process. But yesterday, when I had a bunch of these little circles, which I still have some left right here. So here's a bunch that I have left. Um, I was just sitting there watching a TV show. I was watching Crackle. Um, it's a free app. I was watching this show called 227. It's like an 80s TV show. And I... I love 80s TV shows, but I did all of these, so I was basically gluing four pieces of plain cardstock together with the pattern cardstock and just gluing them all, like just doing sets of them, and I ended, this is how I ended up with this, um, and it seemed like a lot, but I did all that watching one and a half of those half hour sitcoms and it was really less than half an hour because there's no commercials well there's just a few commercials but that's another reason why I love working in batches like this because you get so much done in a very little amount of time all right it might it must be getting boring watching me do this but I really wish I knew where my corner punch was because then I could punch a few corners so it's not so boring it's seriously a mystery all right but I will be using these in a mask making video that you probably already saw <laughs> I feel like my upload schedule is so weird because like I pre-film and by the time I upload it I forget what order yeah it's just a little bit crazy but I hope it's not too confusing but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here um, if you liked this rambly video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below I hope you got some work done as well with me. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye, everyone.